Hey, it's Zinphone reporting in, and, uh, okay. First off, I want to say that, pretty much to my surprise, today is Inside Out is finally out for purchase availability. That's probably the wrong wording, but you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, now, I'm not going to do an analysis video on it yet. I want to get out there first that it's a very good movie. Uh, like, you know, a very good movie. Uh, and I very well recommend to, like, show it to your child or even just watch it as an adult because, well, as the Honest Trailer puts it down, the feels. Well, you know, like, it, it, it's a very good movie. Very good. Um, I would buy it, although I'm going to wait a little while longer for that. And, hell, even... Sonali, I may actually be buying it as I speak, for all I know. Just hope she gets Blu-ray, because they have a little special trailer. No, not trailer, um, a special Inside Out short that was supposed to come out on the Blu-ray. Highly recommend it, and I really, and I'm finding it astounding that there's actually one guy who actually didn't really find it that good, but hey, it contrasts, so that's a good thing. Positive and negative reviewers are always are always a good thing. Though that's not my point of this video right now. Um, my point of the video is that at least around the time when Inside Out was out and people were talking about that Inside Out, it's a great movie. But where have I seen it before? Oh, it's a ripoff of Osmosis Jones. Whether true or not, but however, but I personally. Don't believe that. Really, I just saw it as two different films. Yes, maybe there are some similarities, but really, I just didn't see them ripping off. I did not see them ripping off each other. I mean, I mean, for one thing, sure, you could say that a movie can't, that there are movies that have ripped off other movies before, but that's not always the case. I mean, really, sometimes it's just a case of similar concepts versus taking another idea and then kind of reformatting it and putting it in another line, in another perspective. An example for what could... Star Trek came before Star Wars, yet no one calls Star Wars a ripoff of Star Trek. And both of them are still well talked today. But yes, some ideas can be borrowed from an older idea. You know, such as like uh, laser weapons or... Uh, Warp speed, hyper speed, but because both concepts work to, you know, try to have everything very far apart, yet quickly to access. You get the picture. Well, really, in my opinion, it's the same thing from Osmosis Jones to Inside Out. However, even though it was both reference, even though, like, you know, like, even the. Hell, around the time when Inside Out was out in theaters, or about to come out, actually, both the Nostalgia Critic and Rebel Taxi, both of two of my f favorite reviewers, both made this comparison and joke, or whatever, you know, like, actually, both reviewed Osmosis Jones, but made in reference to Inside Out. Link's right here, and go and check it out after this video. Or after the video I'm about to suggest, because you see, before Inside Out, there was actually, like, I, I, I don't know how long it took me to realize this, but if I, if we were going to be calling out rip-offs of anything, I wouldn't be calling, I would not be calling Inside Out a rip-off of Osmosis Jones. If I were to call Inside Out a rip-off, I'd be calling it a rip-off of this short from The Mind of Josiah Haworth, Jun Sheik Song and Jun Su Song. It must be Chinese. And their product? Brain Divided. I watched this short right before uh, making this video because- To set a record straight, I re-watched the short before making this video. But I've known about this video since at least October 25th, 2013. If no one else has made this claim, then I, Zinfilwin. No last name. Have claimed at 8:22 Tuesday, November 3rd, 2015, that Brain Divided is the actual inspiration for Inside Out. 
Much like that one pixel video, much like this one uh, pixel video game short video was for Adam Sandler's Pixels. And, uh, for the record, I did make an impression video, which I actually now want to revoke, or just, just tamper with. But I'll do that on else's video. I'll do that on, on another review later. And, oh boy, I'm just adding on the review pile. Either way. My point here is to talk about Brain Divided. And the short is, well, very simple in concept. I mean, like, you know, like, it's not as, um, big or as extravaganza as Inside Out. Whereas that, whereas Inside Out is an adventure story, in a sense. But here, it's just really self-contained. And also in comparison of the story running time of very, marginally short. I mean, like, it just... You know, it's enough for you know, it's enough for a short story and very entertain and I've very entertaining. Well, the situation's just well short premise, guy goes on a blind date and he has a bit of a concept of let's see, whether being passive or aggressive. Enough for you. It can't like right here it says it says that it came out um two years ago on the C G the C G Bros. And uh, you know, I'll put I'll, I'll put a link Somewhere on the screen, or a link down in the description for either for both the channel and the video I've mentioned. And really, like I recommend, like I recommend you to watch this. It still holds up, all right? Like you know, it's seamless and uh, quite funny. I, I mean, like I, I like some of the, I really like some of the visuals that they have here, and you know, some of the jokes that are going on. But yeah, my main point is that this this came first before Inside Out, and I wouldn't be surprised if this was actual the app and if this was an actual inspiration. Because, really, I see Inside Out from this. I see in, and I see this from Inside Out. So, that's it. I gotta work on an update video. So, uh, catch you all later. And, uh, Zenthome reporting out. Have a good day.